Guys, get out of the road. We got two. <laughs> two turtles right here. Hey, bud. Oh, yeah. Look at that leech on that one. It's got some big old leeches. I believe these are yellow belly sliders. Or Pretty chicken sure. turtles. They might be chicken turtles. I don't know. That's the male. This is the female. Just tell females have a super short tail and short claws. The males have really long claws up front and a long tail. So, the male's probably chasing her up, trying to breed with her, and she's like, get away. And he's just like, nope, I'm going to breed with you. And so the circle continues. Look at that leech. We'll get that leech off of him, no problem. Well, first herps of the day. At least we found something, you know. Cool. All right. Well. What are you doing, bud? I can't even hold him. He's so. Look at the size crazy. of those claws. Huge. There's a big old male. They'll tickle their face with it. Really? They literally just put the claws on either side of their face and tickle them. All right. Well. They were going. Well, I mean, she, she was, was facing this way. Yeah, so might as well just. I mean, there's water on either side. Ugh. There you go, girl. Come on. Shoot. Go. There you go. He's probably going to go right after her. I don't know what kind of turtles they are. I think they're yellow belly sliders, but they could be chicken turtles. See ya. Look at the size of this crab's claw. Ah. Oh. Oh, Look at that dude. You can grab him on the back, he should be able to get you. Look at the size of that dude. He's a hurt, will he? I mean, I wouldn't test it. It's probably not that strong. Yeah, let's see. Oh. You're joking, right? You really just put your hand in there? Yeah. I mean, he's not, it's slow. Oh, I feel him a little bit. Like, see how he's kind of moving it? <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, that was kind of quick. Can you let go? Thank you. <laughs> that was barely anything. Saw him running across the road. I'm like, what is that? But, I mean, now that one looks dangerous. You see this shit? <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Is she actually going to do it now if I do it? No, I wouldn't mess with them too much. He'll drop it if you mess with them too much. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, nice. Well, literally this drainage dish and there's no seams freaking everywhere on my legs. You see all these little flies flying around? Oh, he ran off? Oh. oh he's not playing no more. Run, bro, run. Oh, see where no. he goes. Oh, my gosh. He's so quick. Hey, crab. What's he up to, crab? That's a big-ass claw, crab. What's up, dude? Oh, oh, he's attacking. He's attacking. <laughs> wow. He's like, don't, don't fuck with me. <laughs> so came across another one with his female. And look, she's got a whole clutch of eggs. How cool is that? I'm going to let her go. Right there. Get out of the road, you don't want to kill your babies. Nice, that's a big old crab. Right, it is in the upper 80s. I've been cruising for a little bit now, but I'm gonna go down to pygmy spot, see if I can find the first pygmy of the year. It's uh, nice and warm, it's just when we would normally see them. Um, tried to hit it a few times over the past couple months, but I think it's just been too cold. But today is a nice warm day. I did see a dead neonate eastern diamondback on the road not too long ago, which sucks. But you know what? It happens. So I'm going to go look around here, see if I uh, can find any snakes. And uh, you know, last time we were here, we saw Coach Whip. So see if we can find anything. Well, this is obviously not a snake. But these are called ant lions. You see that little pit that's right there? It's a little bug that... It's in its larval stage, they end up looking a lot like uh, dragonflies, damselflies. Um, but I'll show you what they do. They dig these pits, and then they wait for ants to fall into them. See a pit there? There's a little bug. See, he's flicking that dirt out. A little tiny ant. It's 
about to get eaten. So what they do is they make like this little pitfall. And he got eaten there. Actually, no, not quite. He's kind of small, but anyway, what they do, I'll, I'll mess with this a little bit. You can see they... See how he's flicking like that, all that dirt? There's that ant down there, and he's just going to grab him. He's flicking that dirt out. See that? Flicking that dirt, trying to grab that ant. So, I'm going to go grab him so you guys can see what he looks like. There we go. See him right there? I know I just ruined his home, but they dig them pretty quick. It's actually a big one. They're just little grubs with these little pinchers on them. Put them in the sand like that. And he's just going to dig himself down into it. He already... I don't even see... Oh. I can't even see. There. There we go. And he's just gonna dig himself into that dirt. See, look, dug right backwards into it. And he'll just sit there and go in a circle and dig these pits out. They get destroyed all the time and they build pretty much new ones every day. But yeah, pretty cool. Well, we got ourselves the first pygmy of the year. And C2. Let's see, uh, if I can get a closer view of it where it notices I'm here. Oh, look at that little guy. Nice. You see how small that guy is? I just happened to see him out in the open. That's the only reason I was able to actually find him. I'm going to try to shoot away, but let me see if I can get a better angle on him. Oh, he went after. And he, he is actually striking. This is a very aggressive pygmy. Usually not this bad. You see the little orange on the tip of his tail right there? And he might rattle, but he's kind of small, so I don't know if we can get, actually get him to. Nice! Got him out in the open. Yeah, what a beautiful snake. Oh my god, look at this. He can't even rattle, he's so small. Oh, look at this guy. Uh, he's flicking his tail. Let me zoom in on that a little bit. See that orange tail? And they got one little button on there. He can't really rattle, but he's flicking it just a little bit. There's only so much he can do. Look at the colors on him. The oranges. This is one of my favorite snakes. I absolutely love pygmies. He's kind of dull. He might be going in the shed soon. And this is one of the most defensive pygmies I've ever seen. What a pretty snake. They are pit vipers. Just like every rattlesnake. And yes, he is a rattlesnake. I said small rattle. You can kind of see it right there, that orange. That is exactly what I came here for. Well, thank you. For the close up. get a couple pictures but thank you for the pictures let's get you back in a little bit more of a secluded area or let you go about your business I mean he's like eight inches long if that now snake like this he's too small to do 
much damage, but it's still a venomous snake. And I mean, there's a good chance he would ruin my day. And he is under a log somewhere. I'm not going to mess with him anymore. Thank you so much, Mr. Pygmy. Finally got the first Pygmy of the year out of the way. This is the biggest gopher tortoise mound I've ever seen. Look at the size of that thing. I mean, that thing's at least a foot wide. That is crazy. And it's active, too. It's really good to see. Oh, big old turkey in the road. There's a few of them. Big turkey. Look at the size of that turkey. Ah! That was a big turkey. skink crossing the road. A little brown skink. One of the biggest ones I've ever seen actually. Oh. Hey bud. Thanks. Look at that little dude. Barely saw him crossing. Honestly don't know how I did. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, there you go. They just disappear into the leaf litter. Oh my God, it's a, uh, I think it's a coral snake. God, stop moving. Stop moving. Here, bud, stop moving. Oh, it's a coral snake for sure. All right, bud. Hey, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Okay, got a little pressure on him right now. Don't want him to freak out too much. That is a coral snake. Not hurting him at all. There's barely any pressure. I oh my god, that is a young coral snake. Damn it. I'm not gonna sit here and grab him, but jeez, come on, don't go any farther. Come on, dude. Oh my god, look at that guy. There's, there's almost nothing I can do about him. I don't want to hurt him. I mean, I'm putting so little pressure on him, he can squeeze out from under it. Get him in the road. Oh my gosh. I can't get, a, get him. Oh, oh. Almost got him. Come on, bud. I don't want to hurt you. I just want to see you. Get you out in the open. Oh my gosh. Look at him. He is so beautiful. You can tell red touch yellow it's the best way to put it it's a baby ah, oh my gosh this guy is incredible come on I want to get you out in the road so I can get some pictures come on come on there we go there we go that's right come on. oh there we go come on he's getting tired out Oh my gosh, man, oh my god, look at this dude, that is absolutely gorgeous. I haven't seen one of these guys in a long time, you also tell because you see the little black spots on his red, that is 100% a coral snake, I gotta get some pictures of this dude. Now, oh I'm shaking, I barely saw him. He's so bright and vibrant. This is absolutely incredible. Oh, and he is twitchy, and yes, he is a front fixed fanged lapid, just like cobras. He's small, so he probably wouldn't kill me, but I don't want to take any chances. These guys are the most toxic snakes in North America, drop per drop, but they rarely ever bite and they rarely give enough venom to actually kill you but they can kill you and especially when the size he's probably not going to kill me but he's definitely not going to give me a good time but look at that animal incredible 
absolutely incredible. He's not hurt in any way. I barely pinned him down just enough to get my bearings straight. But look at that incredible sneak. Oh God. If I get you in the road so I can get a better view of you. Absolutely incredible. Oh, I'm so glad I came back onto this road. Here. I thought it was a little black racer for a second, and I saw the way he was moving. Well, I'm going to let him go about his way, because I don't want to stress him out any more than I already have. But oh my gosh. my This is, I, have, I saw one when I was a kid, but that was it, and I saw one dead recently, last year. Look how incredible that snake is. Thank you so much, dude. You have no idea how amazing this is. Oh my gosh. Absolutely incredible. What an amazing animal. I am in shock right now. God, that made the day I was about to turn home. I got deer flies biting me. What an incredible place to see it as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If I don't have another video, it's because I didn't see any more today. But like, comment, subscribe, follow, check us out on TikTok. At fishing, or ugh, my God. At DNA Reptiles. And if you're seeing this on TikTok, follow the YouTube channel, DNA Reptiles. Oh my gosh. Absolutely incredible. I'm glad I had this on me. <sighs> what an amazing animal.